All right, so this is the kickstart for the Plasma Cam tutorial, uh, something that all the students need to do before they start working independently with the software and with the uh, plasma cutting table. It's a little hanger that you can bend these hooks up with afterwards, uh, paint it a nice color, and then hang it on your wall and hang your hat or your coat or whatever from it. A uh, nice little project, uh, customizable uh, to whatever name that they want. Uh, put your gamer tag on it, or your friend's name, girlfriend's name, boyfriend's name, mom, dad, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this with the word machining on it uh, because we're in a machine shop class. Okay, so I'm going to flip back and forth between this and the tutorial that's that we have on paper. So here we go, the tutorial on paper. Read through the expert tip tips. Uh, very good advice in here. Learn how to zoom. Uh, don't get click happy. Learn the shortcuts in uh, how to do things. Um, when you're using this tutorial, it's made so that you need to type everything in exactly as it's said so. Otherwise, things may not work and uh, you might get lost. There are many different ways to do the same thing in Plasma Cam. Follow this tutorial and begin to learn the different ways as you go on. Uh, pay attention to the color of the geometry. Uh, marquee simply means making a window around what you want to have selected. You can use the control key just like in any Windows program. Control pick will select and unselect things. Um, undo and redo are the page up and page down keys. And the F keys, F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are the zoom commands. You can learn those as you go along. So start up the program, it's called Design Edge, Plasma Cam Design Edge. Uh, and we want to draw the hanger geometry. So you go up to the draw menu, choose lines, uh, and notice that the lower left hand corner of the window is uh, waiting for user input. Remember to type in the coordinates exactly as they're shown. Uh, the coordinates are Cartesian coordinates. Uh, you want to type in the number separated by a comma, then, then the number or an X comma y coordinate. Uh, you're going to be specifying the corner points of these lines. Um, <clears throat> in Plasma Cam, I'm just going to open up a file that I've already got done so that we don't need to go through that whole rigmarole of uh, typing in those coordinates. So this is the hanger done after you've got this coordinates done uh, and press the F6 key to zoom out. Uh, do a quality check to make sure that the hanger looks like it should and do a save command. Here we'll do a save as, give it the name that you want. So we'll call it machining hanger. Uh, yes, we'll replace it. So I'm doing this as a tutorial. The next thing is to fillet the corners. Now filleting is going to put the round corners on all the edges so it'll look uh, nicer when it gets put up on your wall. Uh, the radius of the fillet is decimal 370. So let's go ahead and do that. We go into the fillet command, draw fillet. Now the shortcut keys are the letters beside the command on the pull down menu. If we just type in the letter F on the keyboard, we'll go to the fillet command. Uh, notice the lower left hand corner asking us for, sorry, asking us for information. So we'll go decimal 370, enter. And now we just go ahead and pick all the corners inside and outside and that rounds off all of the corners for us. Didn't quite get that corner. We need to be close enough for Plasma Cam to know that that's the corner we want. When we're all done we press escape once and we're done with that command. I believe the next thing is that yes the screw holes. So we're going to create a circle and repeat this command a few times. So what I'm going to do is just minimize this window a little bit so I can make these screw holes and see what the coordinates are. So up to the draw menu, circle, decimal 188, press enter, and that's the diameter of our circle, 1 decimal 3, 375, comma, 3.5, and press enter, and that's for our first screw hole. Repeat this command, so draw circle, decimal 188 and then 6 comma 3.5 enter and we'll do it once more draw 
circle, decimal 188, press enter, 10 decimal 625, comma, 3.5, and press enter. And that's our third, our third screw hole at the end here. And like I say, there's other ways to do this. You could draw one circle, copy it, mirror it. Um, you could draw in construction geometry, but you'll learn these things as you go along. Okay, so next we'll be putting our text in. So the text is uh, whatever you want it to be. Uh, we're going to put in the word machining. So we go up to draw, text. <clears throat> the font that you choose will be important uh, because some fonts work better than others. So we type in the word machining. Uh, notice that I've used all capital letters here. If we if we use lowercase, the tops of the I will be disjointed and they and they'll simply won't be connected to our hanger. So stick to uppercase letters Oop, and spell things right. There we go. And Cooper Black is a good choice. You can try other ones. Um, there's lots of fonts that will work reasonably well and there are fonts that don't work very well either. Like this one here called Chiller, not a really good font to be using for this application. So I'm going to stick with Cooper Black. It's it's a nice nice font. Once we got it, check your spelling because there is no spell check. And if you cut it out and it's spelt wrong, then you know it's spelt wrong for forever. So press OK. Uh, lower left hand corner is asking for us a, for a placement or height. We're going to give it a placement. 0, comma, 5. Then press enter and give it a height of 3. Now this makes the font or makes everything quite big. I pressed F5 and enlarged everything to see. <clears throat> so that is creating our text. So we're going to resize the text by the scale command. So the text needs to be highlighted. If we accidentally picked off on the screen and it's not green anymore, we need to make a marquee around it and select it all. Only the text though. Then go edit and scale. We'll type in 0, 0,5 as our base point and then pick close to the ending of our text. And we can rubber band it down but what I've asked you to do in the tutorial is type in the value of 12 and bring it down that way. Next thing that we may want to do, if you've got three letters, you probably don't need to do this, but something a uh, longer word like this or a longer name, it also, when you scale it, shortens it. And we want to stretch it a little bit higher, so we're going to do that. Go to the Edit menu and choose Scale Height. Pick near the bottom of your text and then pick near the top of your text in a vertical line. And you can rubber band this or as I asked in the tutorial uh, type in 3 as in 3 inches. Press F5 again to bring it full screen. And I think we're through a few pages here. I'm just going to pause on each page if you want to pause the video at that page. So here we are at moving the text. Now with the move command, we want to have the text selected. So again, you can make a marquee around it if it's not already selected, and then go edit and move. Again, the shortcut key here is M for move. So you can use the keyboard. Where you pick is somewhat important. You don't want to pick on the geometry in this case. You want to pick off where, where there is no geometry, and then drag it down until it's centered horizontally and the bottom of the letters are below the horizontal line. Something like that is good. Just like that. So that's moving. Now combining geometry we need to make sure that both items that we're going to combine are closed. Right now we have white geometry and we have purple geometry. The white geometry is not joined together. Even though it all highlights, it's not purple, it needs to be purple. So we'll pick it 
Oh, it's not all purple. There's this corner here that is still white. So we, we pick any part of that geometry, go to edit and link. Now it's linked. Now everything's purple. We can go ahead with the combine. Now in the tutorial, I asked you to go to view, select, and then choose the select all and close. And that's a long way to select all that geometry when you can just make a marquee window around it, just like that. As long as it's selected, it's good. Everything selected that you're going to combine, you go to edit and combine. Just like that. I'm going to page up and show you the trimming command as well. Edit, trim. With the trimming command, you actually can pick what you want trimmed. Just like that. Now that's a lot of picking all the way through, I think, for the extra few, or the uh, few steps that the combine command does for us. Uh, it's worthwhile just to select it all, go edit, and combine. Just like that. <clears throat> So we did the trim uh, before and after. Uh, linking segments are joining. It's important that things are joined or all purple uh, if possible. Uh, they are right now, so trying to link them again isn't going to do anything for us at all. We do want to make a copy. So I'm going to have two a couple of times, highlight that all. I'm going to type on C on the keyboard and then drag this over to the left for a copy and then press escape and I've got a copy over there. Uh, copy is nice if you're going to modify geometry in the future. The last thing is to create the cut path. Creating the cut path, creating the cut path is going to, there I selected the geometry and pressed F6. Um, that zooms in whatever's selected. Uh, creating the cut path is the last step required to do before you go and cut this on the, on the plasma cutting machine, on the CNC machine. We want to go to machine, convert to cut path, and then this is where important, where you pick. You want to pick on the outside of the outermost geometry. So here's my mouse right here. I'm going to pick right here. Automatically convert holes. Yes, I do and that creates this blue cut path. Notice that all of the geometry has been offset. Okay, and the blue cut path looks a little crazy. Uh, it's overlapping and the corners look really weird, but trust me that when it is cut, your hanger will look like your purple geometry. Okay, so F10 will toggle the cut path on and off like that. Okay, so that's our cut path. Here where the M is, looks really messed up, but when it's cut, it's gonna look like our purple geometry. So don't be concerned about that. That is the tutorial. You've got the paper tutorial in front of you as well. We've troubleshot it with a lot of students in the past and uh, it goes through really smoothly. Um, and have fun with this, have fun with this. You all have a great time doing that. And when you're ready, come and see me and we'll go ahead and finish this off by sanding, cutting it, sanding it, and bending the, bending the hooks. Thank you.